So this week my video is a little bit different. What I want you to do is think for a moment about mental health. Honest Dan, a great Twitcher who talks about game development and he does a cooking show as well, is running a game jam. That game jam is called Honest Jam and it is in aid of Young Minds. Young Minds is a charity in the UK that focuses on mental health in young people. This is a really important topic, folks, especially at the moment. We're all struggling with the coronavirus and the restrictions it's placing on us. So if you have a spare dollar or a spare euro or a spare pound or more, head over to the link in the description. Donate it. Make a comment and ask me to do a deeper dive into any of the assets that you see in here, and I will. Hi there. Welcome to your first day on the farm. We need to bring the cows in. We've found that playing them music makes them produce creamier milk. So, so the theme of this jam is tribute. You've got to pay tribute to something in life. I have a background in music and I am very grateful to what I learned in the music industry. And so consequently, my tribute is primarily to music. But as you'll see throughout this video, I actually pay in tribute to much, much more than just music. So, here we are, about to enter the first musical piece. As you can see, it's a rhythm game, or at least this part of it is. And this is an asset called Kaleidoscope, which is the second piece of my tribute. I'm paying tribute to all the asset publishers in Unity who make it possible for me to create something like this. There's about 10 hours work in this so far, and it's amazing what I've been able to achieve in that time. Kaleidoscope does much more than just rhythm games. You'll notice that the cows, which by the way are from a pack by Protofactor, uh, are nodding their heads in time with the music. That is also done by Kaleidoscope. The environment that we're in here is Nature Manufacturer's meadow environment. Beautiful, beautiful environment. So here we are, I've picked up the first herd, I've attracted them with my music and I'm going back to meet the farmer to get my next piece of instruction. Excellent. You have the first herd. There are three more. Take the car and find them. Once you have so that character, the farmer, is an Uma. That's a free asset from an open source community. And that is the third tribute that I'm making. As well as working in the music industry, I have now got a career in the software industry and I work in open source. I work for a very large company working on open source technologies. So I just drove over here in a vehicle and that comes from an asset, NWH Vehicle Physics. Excellent asset that I'm using in another game called Demolition Derby and I'll do some videos on that sooner or later. But that has uh, a number of vehicles in it and enables you to very quickly have a driving game or an element of a driving game. And so I'm going to fast forward over this song here. I only have one song in the game at this point. I'll add more before the end of the jam, but uh, you don't want to hear the same thing again. So let's fast forward. So there we go. We've finished that song and this herd has come over and you can see the other herd is coming over. So we now have two herds and you can see that in the top right there. Back in the car, we are now driving off to try and find the third herd. So we have Quest system here. This is provided by Quest Machine and is integrated with Dialog system, which was, oh, that was close. It was integrated with the Dialog system, which is from Pixel Crushers. Fantastic system for driving storyline. The two assets work really well together, but you can actually do quests with just the Dialog system if you want to. So once again, let's fast forward here and we'll come back in a moment. While this is fast forwarding, I'll point out another tribute that I'm making here. Mother Earth, nature. 
If you see this video fast forwarding, you'll see that nightfall is falling. And when we come out of fast forward, you'll see there's a completely different ambience to the environment. We'll talk about how we do that in a few moments. So remember, the whole point of this game jam is to raise money for young minds. If you want me to do a deeper dive, a tutorial into any of the pieces that I'm using here, go over to the link in the description, make a donation of any amount that you can afford and leave a comment over here asking me to do a tutorial. So how did we get the nightfall? How do we get this change in ambience? Whoop, nearly fell into a crevice there. Um, well, it's an asset called Enviro. And you may have noticed it was raining overnight as well. It was a bit difficult to see fast forwarded, but Enviro is a great sky and weather asset. So I also want to draw your attention to the mini map in the top right. We're heading off to those cows over there. The mini map is a free asset. It's not open source, but it is free and it's really good. So again, this is a tribute to those wonderful people who share assets for us to work with. And as we look at the morning, Right, uh, skyline changing, the mood changing again, the sun beginning to rise, we'll enter into picking up our fourth and final herd. And while we play the last version of this tune, I'm going to tell you about another tribute that I'm making here. There is an unusual cow in amongst this herd. If you keep your eyes open, you might see them. They're blue. Why are they blue? Well, when my son was younger, I used to watch kids TV with him every now and again. And there was one particular program that had a short story on it about the blue cow. And this blue cow would go out and do things that were different. The blue cow was not like every other cow. And she would go into the big wide world and she would have experiences and she would learn and she would broaden her horizons. And she would come back to the herd and tell them all about how she'd had a wonderful adventure. The blue cow for me represents those people who inspire our children to do more. They inspire our children to break away from the norm, do something different, be the best that they can possibly be. There's our blue cow, see? Now there's a few assets that I am using here that I've not mentioned yet. Uh, the cows come from Protofactor. Uh, the audio, the moves and so on come from another pa asset pack. Uh, the speech is done by RT Voice Pro and many, many more. Have a look at the description below and there's links there into the asset store. Those links are affiliate links. I earn a little bit of commission every time somebody buys something from one of those links. If anybody buys anything through those links during December, I am going to pay all of the commission that I get to the Young Minds charity in tribute to Honest Dan and in tribute to you learning how to do this wonderful game development that we all enjoy so much. So remember, go make a donation, maybe buy an asset so you can do this and let me know what you want me to provide a tutorial for so you can get started. See you soon.